Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotments. And you join us today, it's been a bit showery, um, quite mild, but you know, we got caught in a, in a big shower uh, just as we got here. But uh, it's a very uh, special day, it's become a little bit of a tradition. Uh, we come to the allotment a, a day or two before Christmas and uh, dig up what we're going to have for as part of our, our Christmas dinner on the big day so um, of course you have to plan this sort of way back in the summer and plant these things so what have we got uh, very exciting first of all this cabbage uh, you know look at that that beauty there that's going to uh, uh, be very nice We've got a few more of those in the patch behind us as well We've also got uh, a couple of parsnips here you know which uh, are going to be very nice roasted uh, as well and um, a bit of a rogue one not not quite sure what is going on with this guy but um, we'll work it out and uh, uh, d just deal with him as well uh, also what else uh, got a nice bit of uh, horseradish that we've dug up there and um, that'll be very nice in a bloody mary on on boxing day and then uh, this which we'd never grown before actually it's called scores and error it's the italian root vegetable which um no idea what it actually is but uh, I saw the packet of seeds in the nursery and the garden centre and basically it uh, caught my attention so just pop it in the ground apparently it's something cross between a, a sort of parsnip and a radish and a carrot that type of thing but uh, we'll cook it up we'll find a recipe and uh, do something with that as well but uh, while that's all very interesting of course I am here to talk about whiskey and to share with you the allotment dram which of course is our, our Christmas uh, allotment dram and what is it today uh, I hear you ask well uh, today it's a real classic uh, it's the Lafroy 10 years old this is one of the first whiskies that we ever tried and um, particularly in this smoky peaty style um, yeah it is very different you know if this is your the first whiskey that you ever try it might put you off for life but you get to appreciate this peaty smoky style so uh, Lefroy 10 you know very big selling very popular single malt uh, from the island of Isla and uh, you know it's old distillery 1815 it's been there since and this is you know it comes what fifth biggest selling single malt of any uh, in the world um, yeah, only it sits around fifth or sixth place, and there's only consistently Glen, Glenfiddich, Glenlivet, Macallan, and Glenmorangie in front of it. Uh, so by far the biggest selling in this sort of peaty, smoky, um, Isla style, uh, and also you know has a, as I say, it was one of the first peaty, smoky whiskies that we tried, and so it has a bit of a sort of a soft spot for us, and also we. Um, another we don't have many Christmas traditions but another one other than coming up here a day or two before is that we actually make our own cranberry sauce for Christmas dinner and we put fresh cranberries in a pan uh, boil it up a little sprinkling of sugar but then we also put good dash of this in as well and the, the sort of bitterness uh, and of the cranberries works really well with the sugar and then the Lefroy so I mean definitely try that if you've got some fresh cranberries at home but uh, yeah I think without further ado we should have a we should have a dram here so this is bottled at uh, 40 percent yeah that's a good sound isn't it and uh, I've even got my uh, little Lefroy glass here which you know very uh, lucky we visited the distillery a couple of times so uh, got that uh, on a visit in in well you can guess when 2014 but uh, yeah, let's pop that back on. We don't want to spill any. Definitely not. Uh, so let's have a let's have a smell and a taste, shall we? So yeah, you see, lovely golden colour uh, to begin with. But uh, let's have a smell. Wow, this is to me, it's one of the whiskies that's most evocative of its place of origin. I mean, say we're very lucky. We've been to Lefroy a couple of times including the open day during the, the Fegil festival a couple of times. 
but it is of its place because they actually do their own uh, floor molting there. Uh, they burn the peat, uh, so every time been there, you've got the peat coming out of the the pagoda roof, and so you've got this um, this sort of earthy, smoky smell, sort of drifting across, and it sits on a little bay, and uh, this just reminds me of that. It's got the the sort of saltiness of the, the that sort of ozony sea seaside sort of air, and also, it's just this dried or damp seaweed that's drying out uh, in the sun as the tide has gone out. It's just, just uh, wonderful. And underneath is this sort of earthy, malty quality. There's a bit of sort of honey, golden syrup as well coming from the casks. It's predominantly uh, bourbon casks for, for this, American oak bourbon casks. So I think, I think we should have a taste. And you get that straight away. This slightly acrid quality, medicinal, some people say. You've got this um, sort of iodine, seaweed. There's a bit of saltiness there. And then you've got this earthiness, which just carries all the way through. You see, wonderful and warming. Yeah, really, 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 really uh, sort of strong flavour. You know, lots of people describe it as, you know, a bit like um, Marmite, you know, you love it or hate it. But I would say we didn't love it to start with. We, we've kind of grown to appreciate not just Lefroy, but other PT whiskies as well. And this is the, really the highest or the top level of peat that's within a whiskey that's widely available. Probably this in Ardbeg, um, to be honest. And there, there are some others which, you know, like Octomore, which is limited edition, a bit more limited anyway, uh, that is stronger, but uh, really, you know, this is the biggest, peatiest whiskey that you can get. You know, this is, you know, we got this, uh, you know, for a very good price, you know, it's available in every supermarket, so, um, you know, you'll easily find this 10 year old, and you know, it's a real classic. Uh, let's have another taste. Big, bold, full-on. It's lovely. You have to dig a bit, but there's there is this bit of vanilla and honey, a bit of golden syrup, almost a pinch, a little pinch of like cinnamon, something like that. But yeah, lovely and warming. You know, particularly on a wintry uh, day like this, and you know, very fitting. As I say, it's, it has a certain place in our hearts because it was one of the first whiskies, the peaty whiskies that we tried, and sort of helped us understand what the peaty smoky thing was all about and we use it you know made just last night actually our fresh cranberry sauce with a big splash of this in it so I urge you to try that also very good actually the barman looks at you a little bit funny but if you order a tall drink with a load of ice good uh, measure or two of that and then topped it with cranberry juice and a, and a little squeeze of lime that's also a very nice refreshing drink because to say the bitterness of those cranberries really works nicely with the smoke um, for some reason yeah very very nice but um i think that's that's about it you know thanks thanks for watching again and um, i hope you all have a, a a great festive period you know it's obviously going to be very different this year you know here in the uk we we can't you know we're in london we're in a lockdown situation so we can't leave london to go and visit family or you know we can't even visit friends um, in other houses so it's all it's going to be very different but um i hope whatever you're doing uh, that you have a great time and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon. Cheers.